Hey guys, Happy New Year. Along with the new year, I got a new camera, so you can expect a lot higher quality videos from me. So for my very first high quality video, here is my review of the iPod Touch 5th generation. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started. I bet a lot of you are wondering where I got the white iPod Touch when I had the black one. Well, to make a long story short, the black one had a Wi-Fi problem. I drove to the nearest Apple store, which is over 100 miles away, went to exchange it. They didn't have any black ones left, so I had a choice of either getting this white model or pay an extra $100 and get the 64 gig yellow one. So I went with the white one. A whole new experience for me. Alright, let's start off with what comes in the box. Standard box. It slimmed down just a little bit from the past generation. The Apple logo and all the things, all the labels on the side actually match the color of the iPod Touch. Comes like, ooh, comes like this. It comes with your Apple literature and my favorite, Apple stickers. The iPod Touch loop and Apple's brand new ear pods, which I haven't used. Well, I did use them on my black model, but I didn't like them, so I haven't used them for the white one. So when the iPod Touch 6 comes out, I can sell this iPod Touch along with brand new, never used ear pods. Alright, let's go over the specs of this thing. This thing, first on the front, features an all new 1.2 megapixel 720p HD front facing camera, 5 megapixel rear. 1080p HD camera, which also has a sapphire lens cover, which is supposedly makes everything better. LED flash, the microphone is in between. A, B, G, and N Wi-Fi, which is capable of 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Bluetooth 4.0. The iPod loop. On the bottom, the 5 or 3.5 millimeter headphone jack has been moved from here to here no big deal the all new lightning port which is the cable is irreversible it also does does come with it sorry if I didn't mention that earlier charges a lot quicker and the main thing an all new 4 inch IPS retina display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 which compared next to the iPhone 5 is almost the exact same. People can't really tell a difference. The processor powering this is an A5 dual core chip, the same found in the iPhone 4S, and 512 megabytes of RAM, also within the iPhone 4S. Software it has the infamous iOS 6 and all new Siri. Well, it does come in several colors. It comes in white and silver, black and black blue and white, pink and white, yellow and white, and then red and white. What I mean by white, the front glass is always white on all these models. You don't get a choice. The storage capacity and pricing starts at with 32 gigs at about $300 and then you can get up to 64 gigs at about $400. The all new iPod Touch 5th generation gets two enthusiastic thumbs up. This has been Madman2108 with my iPod Touch 5th Gen review. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and follow me on Twitter. See you guys in the next video.